How is everyone's Tuesday going? I had a... Uh, I worked from home on Tuesday, so it was, uh... It was pretty uneventful, because I just had a lot of heads down time, but I was also distracted by uh, Nintendo at E3. Oh my gosh, Nintendo had so many big announcements at E3. That was pretty awesome. So. <clears throat> oh, that's okay, Jen. I wasn't really listening either. All right. So the quickest way to the mountains is through the north gate. Okay, cool. So we're gonna go to the mountains. But I don't wanna go to the mountains yet. I wanna find out what's happening with all the townspeople. What is what is happening with all the townspeople? What can we put in the bomber's journal? Hey, apprentice! Don't just stand around looking at the sky all day. And what's up with this child? Why can't I talk to this child? Okay. So the child goes to check the mail. I want to follow this child in the mask. And they're running off. Where did they go? Down here? Okay, what's happening down here? Oh! There's, there's the child. Well, let's follow them. <laughs> what happens here? Oh, it's locked. I wonder if it's unlocked until the child opens it. I'll have to, like, hmm. See that. Hey, Whisker Chew! Yeah, Nintendo E3 had a lot of a lot of good stuff. You know what? I'm really super interested, Fish, in playing Super Mario Odyssey because it just looks like so wacky and weird. Like, Mario can inhabit anything using his hat. And I love that it's called Capture. <laughs> Get it? Cap? Sure. Because he captures things with his with his with his cap, you see. <laughs> Humor. Anyway, um, all right. So so that kid with that one mask is that like the Keaton mask? I want to say it's like the Keaton mask from Ocarina of Time. Looks kind of like a stretched out Pikachu, like somebody took Pikachu and gave it the Mike TV treatment. I don't know if anyone will get that reference, but anyway. I want to see how many people I can talk to and like try to try to see how many people I can uh, see who whose lives I can make better by making them happy. I want to make this dog's life better. Can I grab the dog? Wait, the grab command does does show up. Oh, 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 oh my gosh. <laughs> I got the dog. I can take the dog wherever I want. Oh my goodness. I have a dog. Hey, Seth, thanks for the bits. Bits, 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 bits. I love that you logged onto your other account for that. So, so hang on. What did I, what did I just do with, what did I just do with the dog? I think I like accidentally dropped the dog, and now it's now it's gone forever. I mean, I could still hear the dog. But anyway, oh, there's there's the dog, there's the dog. Okay, I was just delighted that I could pick up a dog. Birthdays are weird, K Sonia. Did you just have a birthday? I have a birthday coming up next Tuesday, actually. Yes, birthdays can be weird, depending on the birthday. Alright. Oh, you've got one coming up. Cool. My, my. Funny things are happening in town, aren't they? Funny, funny. You're telling me, like the rumors about the swamp to the south? Did you hear about the kidnapping? Oh, my. The kidnapping? Yep, but the kid woke up. Get it? Kidnapping. Oh, I've got a million of them. 
<laughs> oh my, yes. Ah, branding. Yes, branding is a thing. Hang on, I have I have the bomber's notebook, right? Like, I'm not like out of my mind, am I? Yeah, here we go. Do 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 do. Um, what was I? Hmm. Sorry, I just got distracted by a thing. Um, so let's see. Bomber's Notebook North of Town, Members Only Scheduled Book. Huh. How do you how does one get a members only schedule book? I'm curious about that. Yeah, I didn't I didn't really see the I, I haven't paid a lot of attention to a lot of the E3 stuff, um, but I did definitely catch Nintendo today. Uh, but I did hear about Wolfenstein being a thing again. So that's cool. I'm gonna throw this box. Oh. Hi, mail. There's the mailman. What's what's going on, mailman? What's happening, mailman? I'm currently on the job. If I stop to talk, it'll disrupt my schedule. Oh yay! We got we got the mailman added to the notebook. So let's see. Where are you, mailman? There you are. Sorry guys, I just realized like <laughs> what I'm seeing on the screen is showing up a few seconds before it shows up for you guys. So let's see, Postman, Town's Postal Carrier. A very serious public servant. Very, very serious indeed. So let's see. Gaming Center changing daily. So is there like a different game on each day? I don't know if I've actually gone in here yet. <laughs> Looks like we have a visitor, honey. I wonder if it's a customer, darling. But from what I can see, he doesn't seem to have a bomb bag, honey. Oh. Oh my, then he can't play today, can he, darling? Huh. Well then. So I need a bomb bag. I think I know where... I think I remember where a bomb bag is available. I think it's on the west side of town. Wait, am I on the west side of town? I can't remember what side of town I'm on. No, this is the east side of town, I think. Right? Maybe? Oh, nice fish! So you're gonna go through Homestuck again, are you? Uh, I don't want to go through here. Well, I don't feel like going through now. I'm angry now! Don't speak to me! They must be joking. Now what am I to do? You forgot most of Acts 4 through 6? Well, I, I imagine there's a lot going on. There's probably a lot to forget, so. Yeah, you know it was Kurtu? She, she kind of does. What do you think, Kara? You kind of look like... You kind of look like the dog in the middle of town. You know what? I just realized I should slow down time so I have more time to explore. Uh, shoot. It's it's the inverted song of time, so... Aw, oh, thanks, Kay. I, I love my dog, too. And if anybody wants, wants an abundance of puppy pictures and videos, feel free to follow Tara on Instagram. <laughs> Hey, Blue Water! How's it going, man? How are you this fine Tuesday evening? Da-da-da-da-da-da! 
I love golden retrievers. Ah, I didn't say that right. I love golden retrievers, Kay. That is amazing. That is fantastic. Oh my gosh, so I was at the dog beach the other day. I take Tara, there's a dog beach here in Chicago on Lake Michigan, and it's just utterly fantastic. But um, I was there the other day, and uh, there was a golden retriever puppy there, and it was so cute. It was just like little and fuzzy and had all of its all of its fur, all of its puppy fur, and, and it was cute and adorable, and I pet it. No, there were two of them! There were two of them, that's right! Oh my gosh. That was fantastic. TV in bed sounds fantastic, Blue Water. Yes, Kay Sonia, go ahead. Please put all puppy pictures in the animal channel on Discord, and please put that... And please put those up often. <laughs> oh, did you, Jen? That's, that's sweet, that's adorable. Anyway. Do I have some business? Hey, thanks for the host, Blue Otter. Thank you very much. So the room on the left is the mayor's room. And the room on the right is Madame Aroma's office. I wonder if I can get their schedules. Get them in the get them in the bombers journal. Oh, what's happening in here? Most of the townsfolk already have taken shelter without waiting for the mayor's orders. The only ones left are public servants and committee members. Mr. Mayor and the carnival committee members, please order those who remain to evacuate. Hmm. Ah, hmm. Well. <laughs> oh, gotta hit the button. <laughs> You cowards! You actually believe the moon will fall? The confused town folk simply caused a panic by believing this ridiculous groundless theory. The soldiers couldn't prevent the panic, but outside the town walls is where the danger is. I didn't inflect that correctly. But outside the town walls is where the danger is. You want answers? The answer is that the carnival should not be cancelled! Isn't that right, Mr. Mayor? Ah, hmm, well... <laughs> Are you serious, Muto? It seems that giant chunk of rock above us hasn't caught your eye. At this time every year, we are overrun by tourists. So why is the town empty? Clearly, it's your job to ensure the carnival's... Ah, oh, shoot. I pressed the button too soon. Anyway, clearly it's your job to do something. I don't know. I didn't get to read the rest of my lines. But don't drag the merchants and soldiers into this. That's... That's right. That's right. Yeah, Blue, I do... I do voices from time to time. I... I am definitely... An attempter of voices. I'm... I'm like the okayest at voices. Hmm... Hmm... If the soldiers wish to run, then run, Vison. We councilmen will stick to tradition. The carnival will be a success. I've never heard of a defense unit abandoning its town. Madame Aroma would surely say the same thing, wouldn't she, Mayor Dotor? Let's not bring my wife into this. Ooh, we got the mayor added to the notebook. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, Jen, I only had live when I screw up. <laughs> when I royally screw up. Which is often. That's probably, I've said this before, probably my greatest strength as a streamer. And I believe this is consistently true. Is my ability to just completely not pay attention to what's happening. I am the best at that. Nobody is better at not paying attention to what is happening than me. Actually, I guess if that were actually true, I probably would never finish these games. Um, do we have any information about the mayor in the notebook? Other than just his schedule. It does not appear that way. Okay. Alright. 
Hey, Goatmon. I, well, I think, I think indifference. To me, for the purposes of comedy, definitely qualifies as a skill. <laughs> anyway, um... Can I get any more information out of these people? Thou huh? must take refuge! On with the carnival! Okay. Oh, shoot. I didn't mean to speak to them again. Oops. My bad. Well, anyway. Let's, let's go. Let's go elsewhere. Let's see if we can visit Madame Aroma. Wait, is this a Zora? Is this like a Humpty Dumpty Zora? Sitting on the couch? Ah, the... Oh, the fin's damp lately? What? That's the greeting used among us Zoras. Oh, forgive me. I am Toto, manager of the band, the Indiegogos. Oh my gosh, that's... The Indiegogos. <laughs> that is a delightful pun. Oh my good heavens. Excellent. I'm out of business cards, so a Zora greeting will have to do. Very good. In lieu of business cards, you give me a silly, silly greeting. Fantastic. The Indiegogos is the popular group that we Zora are so proud of. They put out a lot of songs. Put out? Like, like, do they, do they actually have, like, recorded albums in, in, in Termina? Like, do they have that technology now? Does that exist at this point? I, I'm probably reading far too much into this. Anyway, one of their hits is Ballad of the Windfish. I know Ballad of the Windfish. How does, how does, how does, how does it go again? Ba da da, ba da da, ba da da ba ba, that's how it goes. I'm a fish made of wind and dreams. That's how the Ballad of the Windfish goes. I think those are the exact words. I'm, I'm reasonably certain. Oh wait. Shoes? Oh, oh, are, are that, is that Madame Aroma, like, is that her feet, like, in the bottom left corner of what's going on? Why did I say of what's going on? Of the screen. <laughs> the screen is what's going on, apparently. Is there a different version of Ballad of the Windfish in this game? Because I don't know how I feel about that. Anyway, I just I just realized I was getting distracted by my own thoughts and not actually reading what's going on. Anyway, so you, this must be so you must be Madame Aroma. Oh dear, are you on a field trip, or are you the expert person finder I hired? Oh, expert person finder. Yes, yes, yes. I say you have the face of a pro. I am a child. The characteristics of the person I want you to find. Yes, yes, I know them. The person I want you to locate is my son, Cafe. You know him, don't you? You don't? Really? He disappeared about a month ago. It's terrible! I'm so very worried. I can't get food down my throat. I've lost five pounds. You haven't anything, though? Oh, dear. Well, could you look for him? I suppose I could. I'm a nice guy. <laughs> oh, my, of course. You are an expert. Well, I'm counting on you. Ooh, we got a mask. Yay! Talking to people has paid off at last. So we've been given Cafe's mask and recruited to locate a missing person. I hope that's just a mask that's a replica about of Cafe and not, like... Cafe's actual face sliced off. Oh god, it's like a horror movie. Oh god, is it like Hannibal Lecter? Oh dear. <laughs> anyway, wear this to inquire about the missing cafe. Da 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 da! Yay! I'm kind of disappointed that there's a different version of Ballad of the Windfish. Unless it's good. Then maybe I'm not disappointed. But 
But Ballad of the Windfish, though. <laughs> I do have a new cosplay mask, Jen. That's right. Uh, I can't wait to get the... I know that the Bremen mask is a thing. And I, I'm just tickled by it because it's so close to Brenneman. I can't wait to have that mask. You know what? I haven't tried any of these masks on yet. Come to think of it. Um, hold up. I got my buttons all mixed up here. So let's see. So I've got Odalwa's remains. But that's not like actually a... Mask. It's just his remains. Okay. Got it. Oh, so these are where all the masks will be. Man, there's a lot of masks to get. Uh, so I can equip Cafe's mask. I could equip the Mask of Sense. Let's put on the Mask of Sense. Wear it with C to heighten your sense of smell. Okay. Let's see what happens when we put it on. Alright. Let's put it on. So I'm just like... I'm just like... Bent over and oinking like a pig. <laughs> Do I just have like a smell radar now? I guess I, I'll eventually figure out how this works. Like, don't tell me how it works, guys, because I want to figure it out. Uh, I'll, I'll figure it out on my own. But <laughs> I'm kind of enjoying <laughs> just running around with this face right now. What happens when I talk to people? Oh dear, are you on a field trip? If you need to speak to me about carnival performances. So I don't I'm not really getting really different reactions out of out of these folks. Okay. Alright. Oh, but what happens I wanna put on I wanna put on the uh, cafe mask. Alright. Okay. Oh, I guess I need to like unequip the mask of sense if I want to put it in the spot I wanted to put it in first. So let's uh da -da 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 do this. Then let's get the ocarina back in there. Bam, alright. What happens if I talk to Madame Aroma? <laughs> Oh, my, you, yes. I am your son. Cafe. Oh, nope, nope, nope. You, <laughs> you totally recognize me as not your son. Anyway. Oh, will I, will I just die over the mask of sense? I, I, I can see, I can see that happening. Because, like, nearly, I nearly died, like, to get the mask of sense. Gosh. That, like, obstacle course of doom and death and whatnot took me so long. So many attempts. So, let's see what's going on here. Oh, how many people are going to ask me that? That lady is so persistent. So, doesn't Cafe want to break off his engagement to Anju? Why not let him? That's what he wants. Ooh, engagement, you say? Scandalous. Scandalous, I say. Some people. Hmm. So, Andrew's gone. No, not Andrew's gone missing. Cafe's gone missing, but is engaged to Andrew. I see. What else can we find out from the townspeople about Cafe? Actually, what happens if I talk to the bomber kid guarding the pathway? I don't know! Oh, I guess that answers that question. I've always said it as Ocarina Blue Otter, and I, th I think that's the correct pronunciation, but I can't... I also don't know if Ocarina is an incorrect pronunciation. I guess it's entirely possible that it could be um, an alternate pronunciation, but I do not know that for certain. And also, sorry guys, I just hit the... Uh, trigger button by accident because I was shifting some stuff around Including the puppy cam because the puppy moved and we cannot have stream without Tara 
being asleep on camera. There we go. Hey, welcome back, Kay. All right. Anyway, what was I talking about? I totally don't remember. But let's try to see if we can find out more about Cafe. We could continue on and go to like all the temples and like save Clocktown from from being crushed by the moon, but no, I want to know more about the gossip and the drama in the town instead of saving the world. Let's do that. Yes, Blue Otter. I did name Terra after Terra from Final Fantasy VI. That is what she is named after because she is adorable and she is also half dog, half Esper. I think. I think she was listed as a as a dog Esper mix on Petfinder. Pretty sure. All right. Anyway, oh, used to see Cafe at the laundry pool a lot. Well, why don't we go to the laundry pool if I could just remember which direction it was? Da 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 da. We are looking for Cafe. Maybe he's at the pool. All right, let's go to the laundry pool. Let's dive in the water because that's perfectly safe because it's shallow. Oh, great. We got to talk to the... Dang it. We accidentally triggered the Deku Copter cutscene. I hate accidentally triggering cutscenes. So before I go to the laundry pool, let's just see if uh, the construction folks have anything to say. Saw him somewhere. It was somewhere around here. Well, we're right by the laundry pool, so there's there's that. I guess it's understandable. Let's go to the laundry pool. <laughs> Man, if I could... I'll tell you what, Kay. If I could get a second dog, like, if I could afford that, I would totally get a sibling for Terra. Aw, uh, I'm sorry you missed your puppy, Blue. Hang on. I wonder if... Is the... Fr is... Is Cafe the frog? That's what I want to know. That's my current theory. My current theory is that Cafe is a frog. But I don't believe there's anything I can currently do with Cafe, except maybe nudge him into the water. All right, don't tell me if I'm right or wrong, but that is just my that is just my current theory. Do do do. And if I could get another dog, what kind of dog would I get? That is such a good question. Well, the thing is like so when I got Terra, I was looking specifically for an Irish Wolfhound mix, because my last dog was an Irish Wolfhound mix, and I loved him very much. Um, I mean, he's still alive, he just lives with his mommy now. Um, but I wanted I wanted another one of that kind of dog, so... So that's why I got Tara, because that's what she was listed. I don't know if she actually is an Irish Wolfhound mix, because she is nowhere near the size <laughs> of what she ought to be, if she were. But, um... But she is adorable, though. I might tr I mean, I might like it a dog similar to Terra, but on the other hand, you never know. But what I would prefer is a breed of dog that would be kind of chill because we live in an apartment. And, um... And, uh... You know, you don't want a dog that's, like, too hyper uh, living in an apartment because there's not enough space for that dog, but... Anyway. What kind of dog was Abby Blue? Eleven's not a bad age for a dog to live to. Probably a few years shorter than I would prefer. Like, I hope I hope Tara lives to be like 14, 15. That's what I want. I 
Okay. So I, I suspect that Cafe's disappearance has something to do with that frog at the laundry pool. Well, as long as we're here, let's deposit the, uh, the, um, the, the five rupees that I have. German Shepherd Golden Retriever mix sounds, sounds fantastic. Oh, wow! Dalmatian, Greyhound, and Black Lab? That sounds like a beautiful dog. Sorry, guys, I forgot to, <laughs> forgot to deposit my rupees. Okay. Let's see if we can learn any more about Cafe. I wonder if the guard at the door knows anything about Cafe. Do I have an errand at the ocean? <laughs> yes, I have to go to the ocean to pick up some groceries and do my laundry. All right, so no information from that person. So everyone's telling me laundry pool. I don't know if I'm going to get any more information other than laundry pool from these folks, but uh, just kind of doing my due diligence. Hmm. Anyway, actually, let me see if I can learn anything. Swordsman, swordsman wise from, from this dude. Oh, right. I have to actually pay for this. Well, I already put my rupees in the bank, so... Alas and alack. I cannot pay right now. Is that so? Regrettable. Truly regrettable. Yes, yes. Uh-oh. Tara moved and she's like... Ugh. Over on this side of the couch now. Tara's doing a lot of moving. I wonder if she's too warm. Tara, are you too warm, girl? Do you need the air conditioning turned on? Ah, daggummit. Oops. Ah, dang it. Sorry, guys. I uh, bumped my controller against a thing and brought up the menu again. You know what, guys? Give me a sec. I'm gonna... I'm actually gonna close the windows and put the air conditioning on, because Tara... Tara usually fidgets and, like, moves around and she's uncomfortable and too warm, so I'm gonna put the AC on real quick. So, take a look. Everyone just take a look at the screen right here. Look at the menu screen while I go close the windows and turn on the air conditioning. I'll be right back. Hello everyone, I'm Brennamania, professional streamer. Yep. Yeah, Blue, you can uh, you can be on many uh, Discord servers. You can be on more than one. I am on several, I think. I don't remember what they all are. I have like maybe one or two Discord servers I'm like super active in. And then others I just kind of lurk in stuff so yay anyway I 
brought myself another drink. Ah, I set it down behind my computer. There we go. I am drinking LaCroix. Brennamania, brought to you by LaCroix. Which is a nice alternative to pop. Like, I like... I try not to drink so much pop, but I also like drinking cold carbonated beverages. I think I just really like the fizz. Um, so drinking... So LaCroix is just like, you know, flavored carbonated water. This is actually unflavored. This is actually just straight up carbonated water, but it does the trick for me because of the fizziness. And they keep a... They keep an ample supply of LaCroix at work at the office. Like, they just keep the fridge stocked with LaCroix, so... I think that's how I first got into it. It was just at work. But yes. LaCroix. I think it's pronounced LaCroix. I'm tempted to pronounce it LaCroix because French, but I think it's actually supposed to be pronounced LaCroix. Anyway, that's enough talking about fizzy beverages. <laughs> how about... How about I do what you guys actually came here for and play some Majora's Mask? Um... Let's see. I want to know... I think I'm going to set aside the cafe thing for a moment. For a little bit. And see if I can figure out what's going on in the lives of other people. And see who else I can get in the, the Bomber's Notebook. Um, well, I don't have any rupees to, to purchase with. So, alas, I, I cannot. Cannot buy a lottery ticket. Maybe one of these days I'll buy a lottery ticket. Oh, is it blue? I did not know that. I've learned something today. Um, let's see. Post office. Oh, yeah. I remember on a previous stream, if I talked to the postman, there was like this clock contest thing. Four, five, six... Where I have to hit the button in like exactly 10 seconds. And I think, I think part of the issue that I was having trouble with hitting the button in exactly 10 seconds is because on the emulator, I think there is like a delay in when I hit the button and like when action is, is taken. I think that's actually why I was having so much trouble with the gameplay with the emulator too, is because there's like a bit of a delay. And I'm having like so much, so much better. I'm having a so, such, ah, what am I saying? I'm having a much better time with the game controls now that I'm on the virtual console. Hey, demon! What's... Who is Ben and why did he drown? I can see that, Goatman. I think there's... There's a little bit of... A little bit of that tendency there. In my mind, I am running for exactly ten seconds without looking at a clock. <laughs> Without looking at a clock. I was in the middle of mental training. Yes, you were. Good for you. You may make fun of me, but this is quite difficult. Will you try? Oh, yes. I will try. Okay. So, just, just to forewarn you guys, this is going to look and sound weird for you guys in a moment, because I mentioned earlier... Um, because I'm running through a capture card from my TV to my computer, what I see on the screen um, doesn't happen for you guys until a few seconds later. So, um, Oh, Ben Drowned is a Majora's Mask creepypasta. Oh, I did not know that. I've learned something new today. Um, so I'm going to be like counting out loud before you guys actually see what's going on on the screen. So just putting that out there. Anyway. <clears throat> Alright, press A to start, count 10 seconds, and the precise moment you think if it's 10 on the dot, press A again. Excuse me. Alright, I burped, and now it's time to try. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 
seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, I was off by like half a second, which you guys will see in a moment. Oh, and I don't have any rupees to try again with. Oh well, I will try again some other time. I will try again some other time. All right. Do 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 do. <laughs> Creepy pasta is what my dad makes for dinner. <laughs> You know, that does sort of, in a way, Whisker 2, that does sort of sound like something a dad would make. If I ever have kids someday, I'll make them creepy pasta for dinner. I don't know how I feel about that. Um, oh right, that's the lottery shop. Alright, so once it's night out, we'll be able to see... Who else is out and about at night and try to figure out their schedules? Actually, I wonder what that guy's deal is like up on the up on the roof of that stand right there. I need to get up there and talk to him. Oh my gosh, I just saw that there's a treasure chest up on... Let me, let me, let me show you guys real quick. So, it's like, up there on that ledge that I'm like, almost kind of looking at. It's like, just to the left of where Link is looking. I need to be able to get up there. Papyrus probably would make creepypasta. <laughs> Let's make some creepy pasta for dinner. I, the great papyrus, shall make the finest creepy pasta in all of the lands. Um. So let's see. What was I gonna do? I don't remember if I had. Let's see. Um. I had a thought and I lost it. Anyway. Patron guidelines for the milk bar. Latte. <laughs> yes, the milk bar. We offer customers limited run milk. Thus, we are a members-only establishment. Those who do not have proof of membership will be refused service. The owner. Hmm. I wonder. <laughs> oh, did Tara react to my papyrus voice? <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch that part of the stream later. Tara is adorable. Aren't you an adorable face, girl? I'm not planning on staying the night, no. Oh good, we're always totally booked right before the carnival. I recommend making a reservation if you plan to stay with us during this season. Please pay this talk pot in and visit in the future. Oh, that's Anju? Oh! Whoa, I didn't know that. Let's, let's put on her boyfriend's face, shall we? <laughs> I'm just gonna slap my boyfriend. No, not not my boyfriend. I'm gonna slap your boyfriend's face on my face. Let's see what you have to say to that, Anju. You're also looking for a cafe? Yes, I am. I have a request, cafe. I have a clue that will help you find him. Tonight at 11:30, please come to our kitchen. We'll talk then. Oh, okay. Ooh, ooh, it was added to our notebook. Oh, sweet. Yes, yes, Blue Water. I do have, I do have a quote thingy. I, uh... Uh, it's, it's the same, it works the same as Lauren's does. Because we both use Ankbot. <laughs> yes, Jen, I have a boyfriend. I've, I've decided that I've had enough of girlfriends for a while. So... <laughs> anyway... 
Yeah, Andrew the Lady, in fact, was is the most recent recent follower. Oh my god. So I'm kicking this person, but before before I do, let me just say, you don't want to do that. That will not be a pleasant experience for you. Anyway, have a nice life. <laughs> Jeez. Oh, the stuff some people will come into your chat and say. Anyway. What was I doing? Right. 11.30. It's going to be a little while until 11.30. Yep. Yeah, so did I, K Sonia. I uh I am totally totally fine with not dating or being in a relationship for like a while. <laughs> I am like so over it right now. Um, so I have until eleven thirty. She said to meet in the kitchen? Let me check. Real quick. What we said. Secret night meeting in the lobby. Promised to meet in kitchen at 11.30. Do I know how to skip half a day? Um, I know that I can play the double song of time. But I don't want to... But I would skip, I think, past that. Or I could dance with the Scarecrow, too, but... Um, anyway. First, let me see if I can find the kitchen. So I know where to go. Whoa, what's this? Anyway. Oh, okay, this appears to be the kitchen. Oh good. There's there's a bug in the kitchen. That is that is fantastic. Okay. Um anyway, I think I could probably actually take the mask off because I don't need to Oh, where's Anju going? Well I probably don't need to follow Anju because we have a we have a date. We have a hot date. Yes, Kay, you do need to watch Steven Universe. I completely agree with you. I have I am completely caught up on Steven Universe and like the last Steven bomb was amazing. Oh, what's this room? Can I talk to this person? Oh, I have to get, like, right up in their face to talk to them. Oh, Tortoise, you're late. Tomorrow is another early day, so good night. I'll read you a story tomorrow. Ooh. Oh, Anju's grandmother. Huh. Okay. We're getting, like... We're getting, like, so, so many members of Anju's family in here. Um, I... Don't know, K Sonia. I know that probably some episodes are on the Cartoon Network app. Um, there are probably there are probably places on the internet that you can find them where they are uploaded, not legally. So I can't name anything specific, but um, but yes. But oh man, yes, yes, the wanted, the wanted Steven Bomb, so good. So good. We can we can talk more about Steven Universe in the Discord. Cause if I don't if I don't stop Oh the stockpot inn will be locking its door. Thank you for joining us. Oh. Well how do I get back into the stockpot inn for our meeting at eleven thirty? How hmm. So I'm gonna have to figure this out. Oh, 
wait, I think she said like outside the kitchen? I don't know. And what's this? Oh, it's the poster for the Indiegogos. Yes. Hmm. Okay. Well. I'll have to figure that out some other time then. Uh, let's see what else I can figure out. while I am running around. Let's see. wonder if... Hello, bomber kid. Do I have any problems? I have plenty of problems. Got 99 problems. Oh, but I already know all this stuff, so, so yay. Yep, that is true. I, um... I know that uh, I know that you guys are super excited about by this game and you love this game and you're eager to help out. Uh, please do try to um, restrain your your unbridled enthusiasm um, and not accidentally help me because I am trying to figure this out on my own. But I'm super glad you guys are here and that you guys really like the game and that you're really eager to to help me. And believe me, if I if I get like super stuck, I will definitely ask for help. It has happened once before. So I am glad that I do have a brain trust that I can fall back on when I do get stuck. I'm going to go to the west side of town. I think I'm going to I'm going to like kind of uh, set the whole uh, Cafe Anju thing aside for now. So I want to see like who else I can get added to the notebook here. I'm beginning to see why people really like this game, Kay. It's, it's so different from from other Zelda games. Like, I was actually having this conversation um, at work the other day with someone. And I was talking about, like, we're talking about, like, Breath of the Wild and how, like, like, Breath of the Wild is now my favorite Zelda game, but, um, but part of why that is, I think, is because, you know, Ocarina of Time came out, like, 20 plus years ago, and, like, most of the major Zelda console titles that have come out since Ocarina of Time, like, have basically kind of followed the same formula, like, like like Wind Waker, yeah, it was it was different in its own way, like in the look and like you know it's out in the ocean and stuff, but it still had like a lot of like the same kind. I'm sorry, I'm like on a I'm on a ranch here for a moment and not actually playing the game, but uh, but it still had like a lot of the same basic mechanics, I guess, or kind of same formula in a sense as as Ocarina of Time, where it's like, hey, here's the story. There's this big evil bad thing happening. Oh, you have to go to all these temples and do things. Oh, now there's a second act where you have more temples to go to and get more things. Um, so it was kind of like that, just like Ocarina of Time was. Um, Twilight Princess is kind of the same way. Um, actually, Twilight Princess is more the same way than <laughs> than it was with Wind Waker. I mean, Skyward Sword also, to an extent, followed that same formula. So, like, so it was like every time they came out with these new Zelda games, um, it's like they tried to do something different from Ocarina of Time, but it wasn't quite different enough. And then Breath of the Wild, like, basically just blew up everything that that had been established by Ocarina of Time, and it, it is actually, like, 
totally different. I mean, spiritually, I think Breath of the Wild is more similar to the original Zelda game than any of the other Zelda games that I've played, so, so there's that. Anyway, I gotta find a tangent for that. But anyway, that was th all of that to say, um, no Majora's Mask, um, I do see a bit of the, you know, you gotta go to these different temples and get things formula, but Majora's Mask is also, you know, rather different from that formula too, I'm noticing, because... You know, you get into the story right away. There's this, you have to keep resetting time element, which is, which is fascinating. Um, so yeah, it's, anyway, that is my, that is my, uh, <laughs> those are my thoughts on the entire Zelda series that nobody asked for. <laughs> anyway, um, sorry, I'm just catching up with chat here. Um... No, Demon, I didn't see your tweet about that. I did I did see the announcement today that they are working on a Pokemon game for the Switch. Um, so there's that. Y you know what? Yeah, Goatmon, I had a similar experience with Skyward Sword. It is, I am right there with you. It actually took me three attempts uh, to, like, I had to, like, s start Skyward Sword, like, three different times before I finally like got myself into it enough that I cared to actually finish the game. Hey Gunsteel God! How you doing? Happy Tuesday to you. <laughs> I'm purportedly playing Majora's Mask, but what I'm actually doing is just like ranting about <laughs> the Zelda series as a whole. Um I did play through and beat Skyward Sword. I will say this about Skyward Sword though. And then I'll actually get then I promise I'll actually get back to playing Majora's Mask. Um um, yeah, the controls for Skyward Sword were really not comfortable and they were often very frustrating. What I really liked about Skyward Sword, um, it had like some of the most fun boss battles that I've ever played in the entire series. And actually, part of that actually is because of the controls too, which is weird. But like, you know, once I got used to the controls, like the boss battles were really, really fun to me. Um, and the music, especially during the boss battles, like the Kalaktos battle is probably my favorite one. Um, and then the final battle in the game, too, is actually really super fun as well. So, so I would say not the strongest entry in the series, but definitely some of the more memorable boss fights that I've had. Alright. Anyway. Yeah, K. Sonya knows what I'm talking about. Man, I would definitely, I definitely gotta pull, if I ever replayed Skyward Sword, I would probably just like load my save file and just like, just pull up the final boss battle and just play that again, because it was super good. Okay, so, so apparently these, these sisters do not want to be bothered. What do I know about them in the notebook other than their schedule? I don't think I know anything other than their schedule. Okay. So, I have a meeting... ...on the books with... ...Anju... ...at 11.30 that apparently I won't be able to get to. So hang on, does this, the, I'm guessing this means that I can only do the cafe search on the first two days, and I guess the third day is too late? Because that's why, maybe that's why the mask icon is not showing up? Hmm. Let's see. All right. All right. So right now, all I'm just doing is gathering, gathering, uh, gathering information. I do watch some anime, K Sonya. Like I don't really the anime that I watch is just like, you know, all your your typical mainstream anime fare, like 
like you know Death Note um, Attack on Titan which I, I actually need to finish the first season of Attack on Titan I didn't finish that um, also I need to catch up on Dragon Ball Super I'm delighted that Dragon Ball Super is a thing that's happening anyway Oh, Gun Skill God, thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Brennamaniacs. Huzzah! I don't know why my notification didn't pop up. That is that is peculiar. I have not, Demon. I actually don't know what that is. So I uh, clearly I need to step up my game. All right. Okay. I'm gonna, so, like I, I think I said earlier, I'm going to leave Anju Cafe alone for now. And let me see if I can add anyone else to the notebook. Oh, right. This is a uh, swordsman school. You know what, Gomana? I can see that assessment of Attack on Titan. Like, at first, I thought it was really cool, and like, I really love the opening theme, like the first opening theme. Ba da da dum bum ba ba da dum bum. Holy crap! It's Aaron Yeager, Aaron Mother F and Yeager, something like that. I guess those are the words. I like to imagine that's what the words are. Um, but uh, but yeah, like. I mean, it's 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 a gorgeous anime, but it's so hard to like pay attention <laughs> and like be invested in it. So, anyway, let's see what's happening at the curiosity shop. Hi. Come in tonight. I got nothing to sell. I kid you not. Can I buy something? I'll pay you good for it. Show it to me with C. Um, I don't think I have anything worth selling to you. I feel like if I had something that was worth selling, I would know it immediately. I don't have anything. <clears throat> Ooh, we got the man from the curiosity shop, mandatory notebook. Excellent. Very cool. Yona of the Dawn. I need to like I need to expand my anime horizons, I've recently decided. Oh my god, I'm also ash I'm ashamed to admit this guys. Like, you you guys get ready to yell at me, guys. I've I think I've only seen like two Studio Ghibli films. Only two. Isn't that a shame? Oh, right. I've already been wandering in here. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I do this a lot. I'm like, I forget where I've been and I forget where places are. <laughs> I love the reactions, guys. Hey, Blitzy. How's it going? Um... Oh, which two? Um, I've seen, I've seen Howl's Moving Castle, and then I recently saw. Oh, what was the name of it? It's the one about World War Two and the guy who builds the planes. Is it like, is it like into the air or up in the air? It's something in the air. But I thought that one was really charming. Um, let's talk to this guy. It's gotten bigger again. This is bad. Oh, the wind rises. Yes, yes, that's it, Goatmon. Yeah, that's what it was. I <laughs> See, I totally didn't even get the title anywhere nearly 
Nearly right. Yeah, The Wind Rises is... Yeah, that's what I was referring to. It was it was a very charming movie. So, um, so I actually watched it with, uh, with Lauren and Zespera uh, when I went down to visit them in Austin <clears throat> uh, back in April. Um, it was actually after... I don't know if those of you who watched our, like, six-hour marathon mod party stream with, like, DDR and Octodad, but... Um, but that's what we did after the stream was over. After everyone left, like, we just hung out, and then we watched, we watched The Wind Rises. And it was very charming. I may or may not have shed a tear. But anyway. Yeah, I, uh, I need to watch more of those films. Actually, Zespera is coming to visit me next month, so maybe, maybe when she's here... When we're hanging out, we'll watch a Studio Ghibli film. I can knock another one out. She'd probably be down for that. Alright, anyway. Let's, uh... I'll come back and deal with Townsfolk later. I just wanted to get some names in the notebook. Let's see... What we can do... To get to the next temple now. To the mountains, you say. Very good. Hey, Careless Dragon and Star Dragon! All of the dragons are here. 